Hello, this is my talk. I am Josh Kimball, and today I'm going to be sharing um, some, some th tips for programming, well, teaching your kids, well, not teaching, but getting your kids into programming. So this was built in Minecraft. It's a sandbox game where you build and destroy uh, objects. And in, in this game, there is a hidden block known as the command block that has several commands you can input that do different things. So I am doing this in a later version of Minecraft that hasn't come out yet. It's known as the weekly snapshot that they do. So this is features that will be in the next version, but not right away. So they will, they will be most likely in 1.7. So, and we're on 1.6.2 right now. So anyways, First, this is what a command block looks like, and to get one, you do give, and then your name, 137. But in the future, it'll just be Minecraft colon command underscore block. So you can do that, and then there's these, um, well, not, that's not one. Um, there's... Um, these redstone, which is basic Minecraft electricity. So anyways, um, each one outputs a redstone signal in some way. So I had some redstone here to show you. So, um, well, I have to do them in one by one. So the button is simple. You press it, it turns on. You let, you and after a while it turns off. Pressure plate, when you stand on it, it turns on. Lever, on or off. These two are um, always um, on, and these two are just special. These two are like exceptions to the, and they do different things. Like, so I need to get myself a redstone torch. I forgot about these. And anyways, what I do is I place them down, and it, if you noticed, um, it took a little pause before lighting up. So that's just like to slow down your circuits. And anyways, the redstone comparator is very unique because it's like doing, doing math. So if I put a torch behind here, it'll output a signal. However, if I put two here, it shouldn't output. Wait, why isn't it? I, I don't know what's going on, but anyways, it's not supposed to do that. I can assure you I tested this and this didn't happen. This is still pretty, this is still a snapshot, so it's still pretty buggy, but the, the bugs will be fixed soon, so. Anyways, what it's supposed to do is the, the signal is supposed to um, carry out, oh, subtract mode, silly me. When you put it in subtract mode, it'll subtract the sides from the output, so there's nothing here. So it's like you can do math in Minecraft. So, so the command blocks, what their feature is, is to store commands. Like that command I did here is, that I did to get it is in here. So if, if I put a button on it, which there already is, and I click it, I get a command block. So you can also put at P to target the nearest player, at R to target a, any random player who's on with you, and A will give it to all players. So now on to the block, on to the commands. So we have teleport. Teleport obviously teleports you. And these, I forgot what these, oh, these, these are the weather ones. So I can have it clear and I can have it stormy, but you have to wait like 10 seconds and then it'll happen. Let's just go on to another one while I'm waiting. Oh, these are fun. This is effect and they give you a special buff. So I'm gonna have to go into Game mode zero, we'll get into that one later. So I have this one that gives you like a ton of hearts and then this one heals them all up like instantly. So 
it's um what it is is it's health boost um, 100 and and the and the instant health for a minute so that's pretty powerful so and so i i had to come up with how to describe game mode so i did game mode sets your mining abilities like this is game mode 2 where you can't mine anything the one i was just in you can mine but it has like certain time and you have to like craft certain items to do certain things it's like your basic mode and right now i'm in adventure mode which is for like adventure maps and game mode 1 is creative mode which is what i'll be doing most of the re most of the um, conference in so xp gives you exp so if i go into if i go into game mode 0 again or game mode s i can click here and as you can see the bar down there is like gaining um, levels so I can pretty much give myself as much levels as I want and I have it set to a lot so now our next one oh what oops the caps lock I hate caps lock why did they even invent that button <coughs> so enchant is another cool one if I take a sword and again I tested this one and found out it's broken and I give it this it'll say fire aspect now the problem with it is um, it's supposed to set enemies on fire and it doesn't but it still gives you cooked meat so if I kill the pig <laughs> cooked meat so now you can get as much cooked meat as you want because you're frying the pig So another thing that I found is in the newest ver snapshot, they have these minecart in command blocks. I mean command block and minecart, sorry. So what it does is I can put a command in it, and there's these certain rails called activator rails that it, what it used to do is with the TNT carts, it would light them up. But now, it, what it does with the command block carts is it tells it to run its command three times. So it's pretty fast. So, um, so the spread players is a fun one. You can click it, and it will move you to a random area around a certain target. So if I click it again, Wow, it just keeps putting me here. But, again, still pretty buggy, so. So, time sets the time. So, as it's turning to night, I can turn it back to day. And, and enchant. Oh, I already went by enchant. Sorry, I'm not very organized. Achievement gives a stat. And I'm going to do this one with the scoreboard. You probably saw it right there the thing that says thing so I right click it and can also be used to give you normal game achievements but I couldn't test it w without doing those so here's the ones I did I got diamonds and then diamonds to you which is a, a new one in the snapshot where you have to throw a diamond at another player so um, I'm trying to there's I believe that probably most of them, but oh, summon! I can't, I can't forget summon. This is probably the last one. I saved the best for last. It summons anything you want. So I set it to summon giants, which were a mob that were originally in Minecraft but taken out. So they're still really buggy, but they still work again. They won't attack you or anything, but you can still hit them, and they're huge. And also their hitboxes are broken, so you can only hit the legs.
So, and one of the, one of the outtakes I find funny is I was trying to make if you saw the bedrock cage over there, I was trying to put in all the pigs. I was trying to make it the thing just put a bunch of pigs. Let's just say my I had zero FPS, <laughs> and there I'm. I'm glad I can sweep up lava with the bucket, and I'm going to do the same here now. So, this is what I did. <laughs> and so, that was most of it, but I saved the best for last. Here's something I found online that it was okay to pop copy and paste. It's this guy named Seth Bling online. That's his um, username on YouTube. And he built this. This is a jetpack working in Minecraft. So first let me get rid of all this um, lava and then I'll fly around with it. So I'm going to go here because I don't want to blow up anything. That's how it flies. If I start clicking these, up, up, up I go. And it's boom, 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 up into space. And I can fly north, south, east, west. And it is fast. <laughs> and the reason it's not faster is because of the pre previously mentioned comparator bugs. So, yeah, but I have some other helpful resources in here, and here's why I decided to do this talk, which is my, I had a couple friends, and they're like, hey, can you, can you help me? I need, I need some diamonds for my house. Can you, and I forgot how to do game, how to switch my game mode. Can you help me? And I'm like, no game mode for you. And then I did this. I just built a diamond giving machine. So they get free diamonds just by pressing this button. So, and here's some things that you can do. So here's some other tools you can use. You can use Game Maker, which is like a simple programming tool. I actually build a game with it. And you can publish it to store the store. So you can publish it to any store that you buy a license for. And Disney Infinity. I know people are like, what? But what it is, is, is I was playing it yesterday, and I unlocked triggers. So what they do is they're like very basic for kids, where you have it, and you can set a trigger to activate something else, like activate a turret or something like that. So Kodu and Spark, you probably heard of Project Spark in the news, but Kodu and Project Spark are gaming tools that well, you can build games with them. You can't, but they're really easy, and you can do it with the Xbox controller. And Scratch is a small tool, and it's like programming with pu puzzles. So you have, like, basically these little puzzle pieces you drag in, and you can have, like, when, when this trigger happens, say, hi, or all this. And basically all you do is there's, like, all these pieces of, pu of a puzzle, and you put them together, and make it you can even do variables or you can just learn Java and mod Minecraft and if you do this I want you to make a Mega Man mod if you want if you need to know what that is um just email email me at Joshua Joshua at intradynamics.net okay that yeah <laughs> that concludes my performance it was short but Okay, so to finish this off, we. This is really fun. So how does the minecart work? Like, do you have to either command minecart, or can you activate that? Like, how do you how do you touch that button when it's moving? Um. Well, how it works is you type in give four two two. Oh, sorry, I forgot to put my name in. Slash give. Four two two, and you can use Minecraft command block minecart in the future, and it'll give you this. 
So how you activate it with the rails. Like how do you touch the button is what I'm asking. Do um, you have to track down the mine cart to touch it? Well, you could do that. Or you could have it like always going with a redstone torch, which I showed earlier, or a block of redstone. And I could do like slash say hi, and it'll just go hi, 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 oh, hi, 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 hi. constantly running. Okay, so you're not touching the block in the cart then. So yeah. I mean, you could always have like a lever. You could always do something like... Yeah, the activator rail. That's the command you're functioning like So you you could do something like that would be cool. You could do something like um this and then <laughs> yeah, you could do that. Or you could. <laughs> here's another. Here's another thing that um, you can do. And where'd it go? Oh, phew. I was like, where did my mine cart go? I went to my mine cart. So, what you could, what you could probably do is you could build like something that you have to click the. Mm, well, you could have like a lever that you switch on, and then it does the. Wait, did I? Oh, I forgot to put say hi in. How do you use the Ender Pearl? What do you mean? The Ender Pearl. Um. Well, that's kind of off topic, but I'll just show you anyways. It's okay. It's really fine. But anyways, how you use this, which you can't do it with a command block, sadly. You can't summon it. That would be awesome, though, because then you could just, like, troll your friends, and what, you could have one, like, set when they get nearby. It throws an ender pearl and throws them halfway across the screen. So for us, we don't know what an ender pearl is. Yeah. So it's, it's not seeming to work right now, but if I go into game mode zero, I can throw this and I'll take a little bit of damage but I can also warp there. So any other questions? Uh, John, does your dad give you places where, hey, it's okay to go here to learn from other programmers or is that stuff that you found on your own? Or um, I found it, um, I usually go on youtube.com slash sethbling and I've learned the stuff on, my, most of the stuff on my own but but if I need to learn anything else, I'll go Seth Bling. I did do build a game in Game Maker, which has a bit of programming in it. Like you can either just drag and drop stuff, and you can, or you can just program with their own language. So I used Scratch, which was really fun, and it taught me how to use variables. Um, I was always kind of curious, but this game kind of was like. When I saw these blocks, I was like, okay, this would really help kids learn. And plus, Minecraft has been known to help kids in other things, like school ha schools have actually used Minecraft as a teaching tool. And there's even like a Minecraft teaching program that a, a Minecraft developer made you can buy for your school. Do you ever go to the Minecraft Saturdays over at Moser? No, I didn't even know that existed. <laughs> Now you will. <laughs> we live in the meeting, so now they're taking yeah. all the crypto. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, dude. It was unfortunate. We had a Mosey sleepover one year, and then um, one of my favorite games of all time, Portal, they were having like a little day on on, on Portal 2. So y'all are realizing this is a skin. Yes. yes. And I don't know if you realize, um, it's only, a, only on uh, Windows 8 and and um, Windows, Windows Phone, phone right now because that's just what I have. But, uh, you know, it's uh, the environment is such that I can freely go to Android or iOS. I just haven't done it for you. So, um, what I was going to show you before my dad insisted yeah. to step in was. <laughs> <just> <laughs>
<laughs> was you want me so to go away now? No, no, you can, you can do it. What I was going to show you is some extra things I was working on before the Keep the Cash 2 was said to come out. And what it was, was I was actually, I was actually working on um, two char new characters for the game, which yeah. was I built a, well, first you didn't get to all of them, so there's a red guy who will um, move backwards and a ninja guy who can always jump no matter what. So I was building a fire guy and an ice guy in new blocks, and they can pass through the respective block. So I can already think of all the possibilities, like trying to trick people into, s into thinking like I did on one of the levels here, like where they're not thinking, and they gra and there's like you have to jump over an ice thing, and if you don't, you just fall to your doom. <laughs> <laughs> so I was also working on building a boss for it. So yeah. Any more questions? Yes. Have you ever heard of no. I've never heard of it. I had one of my friends um, very recently. I already mentioned him, Bay. Well, he was the one who kind of introduced me into Minecraft, and my brother bought Minecraft, and then I bought Minecraft. So anyway, and um, I told him about Game Maker, and recently he's been building small games with Game Maker. He hasn't published any or anything, but he's building them. And you're helping him along with that? No, he's he's doing it on his own. He's doing it on his own. So he's No, I was like, I got my own project over here. No, I'm No, you're good. You keep kicking it. You're doing something right. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Tell him to pay you. Yeah, but he had to hire dad to do some of that because you know the grunt work of icons and all that. Yeah, I'm not really interested, you know, especially Oh, I need one bigger than, uh, okay. Mm, so, I don't know if, you, if you've if you never seen my um, Game Maker, that's what I have up on the board behind you. So Wait, do you? I, I even have some of your new enemies. No, that was always in there. That was like a broken one. Okay. I don't know what those are. That was like a um, All right, that well, was I don't have your fire there. guys because they didn't get, get over to my machine. Oh. But basically, um, you drag your assets in. I'll give you all the... Two minutes since you're almost done, and I'm, I'm I shouldn't be taking over your talk. But you drag your graphics in here. You drag whatever sounds you have in. Backgrounds as well. Dad, I got it all. What? You got it? Oh, okay. I got my stuff. Okay, up. let's let's switch. Because now I can show you what I built. Okay. I, Go ahead. Put it in. Basically, most of this is just drag and drop code. You should show them what that means since we're you got a few more minutes. Okay. So most of this is just drag and drop. So I have the um, object platform, which is your basic um, platform object. And that's where they stand. So basically what most of them do is it checks if right below them there's um, um, collision free. Then they go down. But if there's not, not they just, um, there is no gravity and it executes this code. See, it's actually got code in it. So object platform, when you contact it, it'll um, set the vertical speed. I don't know. I don't remember what I set it to, so. Oh, zero, duh. And move to contact in direction 270, or right below you. So set. And when you get hit by a spike, you go all the way back to the start and you lose a life and you have three lives. I'm going to make a one up so it's just not unforgiving. So a spike ball, um, wait, what? Oops. I'm going to, I'm going to fix this right now. No, don't. I can't help it. And now's not as good time. It's just one little button. Okay, well, you can, you can use the, yeah. There's what you can do. Explain to them what you're doing. Yeah, see? What I'm doing is it's got like a drag and drop menu here where I can look through all these commands I can put in. So I'm, I'm going to put in the jump to start position, which what would happen if it didn't have that 
is you'd run into the spike and you'd instantly die, game over. No, no, nothing forgiving. It'd be like you had one live and you died and lost them all. So I, what I'm fixing is I don't want that to happen. So I can tell it jump to start and that applies to the play, to the person who gets hit by it. So the fire spike, because this is the ice character, the fire spike still does the same thing. And this one, the fire wall, will still um, do the same. What? Oh, these are, these are like drag and drop buttons. Well, these are all the things that I programmed it to happen. Like if you press left on your keyboard, there's also buttons that are rigged. So if it, if the po position in front of it is collision free, then it'll go negative four, it'll jump to position, negative four, zero, relative. Okay, so basically when certain things happen, you know, like the user pushes the key, yeah. or yeah, and when you have no more lives, it'll just it'll destroy the instance and display game over, and then it'll restart the game. Mm -hmm. And here are all my sprites. And here's another interesting thing I'm adding. I'm adding these things, which are like little like hologram things, and when you touch them, you swap. So it's like a what I was talking about with the ice level where you'd t touch it and then you'd fall to your doom. So if, if you're anything but the character it turns you into, it'll destroy that thing and create the one that it is. So, yeah, this turned into a completely different talk. I'm going to get off of this. John, did you do this before Minecraft or after Minecraft? After Minecraft. Around the time that the Keep the Cash competition came. And. Nothing wrong with Keep the Cash. Yeah. <laughs> Which was really yeah, awesome. I got to buy. I made the last purchase I would have, like, last week from it. And it was, like, during the summer I got the money. Like, the beginning of the summer I got the money and all. Like, well, towards the end of school, because then I got to skip school one day to. To go to Microsoft. It was the best day ever. <laughs> <laughs> okay.